Here with head football coach Paul Winters for week four of the locker room report. The team really seemed to be fire, firing on all cylinders at Quincy. 33-7 win. I guess if you're going to nitpick, um, there's only two points. That was a safety in the second half, but really just a great all-around win. Uh, final impressions from the Quincy game. Um, very proud of our guys. Uh, it was a difficult road trip, obviously, when you go that far on the bus. Um, but it was another, another undefeated football team that we had to play, and they had a great start, um, had really won two games pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And um, we went down and, and established our physical presence early. Probably the standout performance would be the defense, 115 total yards allowed that you're going back 10 years now for a performance like that. Talk about their performance and what was working on that side of the ball. Well, um, defensively, we were, you know, we've been working every week to make it better, and yeah. I think we've done a, a good job of that. Um, what was working was we were stopping the run. Yeah. I think they they had 36 yards total rushing in 20 attempts. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. I don't know if we've done that in forever. Yeah. So um, up front, the guys did a fantastic job. Uh, Jalen Lewis really stepped up, uh, had a big time sack in the end zone for, for those two points in yep. the second half. So I'm very proud of those guys. Offensively, really balanced attack, uh, over 320 yards on the ground, over 200 yards through the air, Dakota Cup, James Hill, Darius Roberson, offensive line, kind of an all-around performance on that side of the ball too. Yeah, we were able to keep the balance. And, and what our thought was early was let's get Darius involved and let's let him try to make those big plays. And then after that, um, we know they're a fast-paced football team, so we really wanted to run the ball. We really wanted to take a lot of time off the clock, and I think we were able to do that. And um, I think we have 42 minutes to their 18. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, time of possession was huge, and that'll be big moving forward the rest of the year. Easiest question that I'll ask you all year, are you happy to be home? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I'd rather play home than anywhere. Yeah. And, um, you know, playing a, a conference rival at home is always big. Um, we've had a lot of success here, so I'm excited about that, yeah. Saginaw Valley comes in nationally ranked uh, dating back to last year they've won five straight they're playing some of the best football uh, in the region in the conference talk about some of the challenges that they present well offensively or for their offense their quarterback I think is outstanding I think the wide receiver is outstanding I think their tailbacks outstanding um, those three are three three of the best in the league so so we've got to do a good job continue to improve defensively um, and from a defensive standpoint they're they're Playing a defense that's very similar to Ferris, um, which has had a lot of success in this league. So um, we have to ramp up for that and um, not turn the ball over. Would you say that the turnover battle is going to be the one key to the game? Uh, it's going to be a big key. Yeah. It's going to be a big key. It always is. Yeah. Um, you know, you just have to find ways to get the ball back. And, and uh, sometimes we consider a turnover a three and out. So if we, right. get, if we can get them with three and outs, you know, it's not necessarily a, a fumble or an interception, but it gets us the ball back. Got any message for the students or any of the fans on uh, Saturday night, Star Wars night, a lot going on? Oh, a lot going on. Um, uh, another ranked team coming in here. And, um, you know, even if you go back to the last home game, that was a ranked team. That was an exciting game. Yeah. You know, it didn't come out the way we wanted it to, but no one that came to that game was bored right you know that was that was college football at its finest and um, we expect the same thing um, this week and hopefully we get a better result yeah. thanks coach all right thank you